Hello all my Leo friends and thank you for joining me on Indigo Goddess 1111. My name is Indigo and I am here to bring you your January 2018 Twin Flame Love Reading. For those of you who are new to my channel, I welcome you and I hope you enjoy my messages. And um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, or share. Um, not every message will resonate with you as I read for the collective. And um, if this message doesn't resonate, make sure you try your, your moon rising and Venus as well. I am going to start off the reading with pulling a romance angel card. And that will kind of uh, give me an idea of where we are in the journey and where this message is going to lead us. I will draw five cards for the Divine Feminine, five for the Divine Masculine. The first four represent four weeks of January. And the fifth one is a Mary energy of overall. And then I will also pull a card for each Divine Masculine and Feminine out of the Wisdom of Hidden Realm. Uh, Oracle deck by Colette Barrett Reed. Beautiful deck with beautiful messages from spirits. So, um, and after that, I have been pulling for some signs. I have pulled um, chakra meditation cards for any meditations that spirit is requesting we do. Spirit has not requested them for all signs. So, we will get to that point. I will pull them if we need them. So, spirit and angels. Can I get one card for the overall uh, Twin Flame journey for our Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Divine Masculine and Feminine? Now, you don't have to both be Leos to be watching this. Um, just one or the other has to be a Leo, um, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Okay, so let's see in that one. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. So Spirit is saying with this card, um, some of you have been experiencing um, a lot of pain caused by your uh, divine counterpart. And he is just um, requesting that you give it a chance to get to know each other again, to um, heal from the past mistakes, and to go from this point forward. Spirit and Angels, can I get five cards for the Divine Feminine, please? Five cards for the Divine Feminine for January 2018. For our Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Divine Feminine, or if they are connected to a Leo. Five cards. Okay, Spirit is asking to cut the cards. Okay, so in week one, we have the Eight of Swords. In week two, we have the Death in Reverse. In week three, we have the Hermit in Reverse. In week four, we have the Two of Wands. Move that deck over a little. And the overall energy for the Divine Feminine in January is the Star card. How beautiful is that? That is awesome. Let me get them so they're in view here. Okay, and now for the Divine Masculine, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Leos, or the Divine Masculine counterpart to the Divine Feminine Leo. Five cards, please, Spirit. Okay. I will get all my cards out on the table, and then I will channel messages from there, so if um, you do not want to watch my shuffling. Um, look for the timestamp below. I will try to remember to put it in there. Week one for the masculine is the seven of pentacles. Week two is justice. Week three is the six of swords in reverse. Week four is judgment. And the overall energy of the month for the masculine is the queen of pentacles in reverse. So beautiful. The bottom of the deck um, energy that's coming in from December 2017 is the devil. So, um, Either one or both are getting over um, attachments to past partners, um, could be addictions, uh, but I'm hearing more codependencies to past partners. I'm going to use the uh, master deck for 
clarification. Spirit and Angels, can I get a clarifying card for each uh, card on the table, please? Why is the Eight of Swords here? Okay, that one. Lots of sword energy. Lots of being in your head. Um, the bottom of the clarifying deck is the world. So beautiful. These cycles, these things are ending. They're coming to completion. And I'm going to pull two cards from the helpers of, or wisdom of the hidden realm. So spirit angels and helpers of the hidden realm. Can I get a card for the divine feminine and masculine? One each, please. Spirit saying this is the Divine Feminine's card, and that is the Resting Tree, and the Divine Masculine, please. Okay, this one, and it is the Word Lord. Okay, so if you just give me a second, I will get my channel of messages. Um, if I forget to timestamp this, it is 629. <coughs> Now that we start, okay, so the first week of January for the Divine Feminine is the Eight of Swords, clarified by the King of Pentacles. So the Divine Feminine is feeling stuck. She's feeling stuck emotionally, physically. She feels like she can't move on um, or can't move forward in any decisions that she's facing right now because she's not she doesn't know where she stands with her divine masculine she wants um confirmation of stability coming her way of a stable relationship um just security and stability all the way around so she's holding off making any decisions until she hears from the Divine Masculine, and it's making her feel trapped. The Divine Masculine has the Seven of Pentacles, so he's sitting there waiting. And he is. it is clarified by the Eight of Swords, so he is also feeling stuck. He is feeling trapped. He doesn't know if he is financially um, stable enough to leave a karmic partner that he's currently with. He is trying to work and build up enough to be stable to move out on his own so he is also feeling trapped so both divine masculine and feminine are feeling stuck the first week of january the second week of january for the divine feminine is the death card in reverse clarified by the hierophant in reverse so you divine feminine may be getting out of a marriage yourself um, and you are dragging your feet Unsure of whether or not to let this marriage end or if you're ready to let it go is what I hear spirit saying. Um, the Divine Masculine, however, has the Justice card clarified by the Two of Swords. So they have made a decision. The Divine Masculine, um, Leos, or if your Divine Feminine is a Leo, you could be a Libra, but I'm not really getting a sign on this. I'm just hearing that you are ready to end the karmic relationship you are in. You have made a choice. Um, you are going to face your fears and end this karmic marriage that you are currently in. And the Spirit is saying to be confident and to not worry because you are on the right path. It will turn out fair and just and you have nothing to worry about in the third week of january um the divine feminine has a hermit in reverse so and it's being clarified by the five of wands in reverse um you are allowing outside people to fill your head with um things that aren't true about your divine masculine and they're doing that intentionally they're trying to um, sabotage your connection um, 
and you're allowing it. You are not looking within. You are not um, taking the time to take a step back and see who's on your side and who's not because they are competition and they are not wanting you two to be together. So Spirit is encouraging you to take a step back and consider your source is what I'm hearing because they are making up things to try to get you two apart. In the third week of January, the Divine Masculine has a Six of Swords. In reverse, being clarified by the page of uh, Wands in reverse. So even though you are trying to save up um, to get out of where you're at and you are ready to end this relationship, you are not moving just quite yet. And um, you are waiting. Actually, I'm hearing it's because of children. You are holding off leaving just yet until you get figured out what is going to happen between your children and you. Um, yeah, you are not wanting to move until you know for sure. The fourth week of January for the Divine Feminine is the Two of Wands in reverse, being clarified by the Knight of Wands. So you're holding off choosing a path. And this goes back to this back here. You're feeling stuck. You're not wanting to make a decision on which way to go until you hear from your divine masculine. Um, and he's not coming in just yet. So you are not picking a path. Um, even though you know which way you should go, you are starting to doubt yourself. The fourth week for the Divine Masculine has the Judgment upright. So um, big changes are coming. It's being clarified by the Four of Pentacles in reverse. So um, you are you are no longer going to hold on to that fear of not having enough, of not being enough. And you are going to start um, offering your investment in time. You are going to um, no longer fear the unknown. And you're going to let loose a little bit because the judgment is going to step in or the universe is going to step in. And um, my guides just told me and make miracles happen. So how cool is that? Your overall um, energy for the divine feminine in January is amazing. You have the star clarified by the eight of cups. So you are getting your wish coming true and they are coming towards you, you towards them. Whichever way you are coming together with your divine masculine, divine feminine, you are in search of those two of cups and you're going to get it because your wishes are coming true, which is amazing that the divine masculine had the judgment in the fourth week of January. Um, the divine masculine is the queen of pentacles in reverse. So um, you're kind of... Uh, Overall, in the month, you're kind of here, there, and everywhere. Um, emotionally, um, you're one day you're grounded and you got a plan, and the next day that plan's out the window, and you're unsure what you're going to do, and you're you just you have an all over the place energy this month, and it's being clarified by the moon. So um, there's some things that you're worried about your divine feminine finding out. Um, you haven't been oh so honest this whole entire time. And even though you're ready to move on to her now, um, you are you are worried what she knows or what she's going to find out. And it's making you even more scattered with your energy. But um, rest assured, Divine Masculine, your, uh, your Divine Feminine will forgive you. She will understand. Um, you just have to be honest and open and, um, offer some, uh, be vulnerable, offer her the truth and offer her your cup or one start. You got to start somewhere. Is there any messages spirit that you want Leo's divine feminine or masculine to know for the month of January, 2018? And you got the strength in reverse and spirit is saying this is for the divine masculine. You feel like the situation has overtaken your life, has complete control of you, which is not the case whatsoever. You always have control of the situation. You always have control of your life. You always have the strength 
And when you feel like you're lacking that strength, you just have to ask the divine for help. Ask your angels for help. They won't come in and help you unless you ask. So take the time to, when you're feeling weak, um, this also could be you, Leos, because um, this is the card of Leo, but this message is for the divine masculine. When you are feeling weak, make sure you pray and ask for strength because it will be given to you strength and guidance strength and guidance and your angels will not steer you wrong any other messages for our leo sun moon rising and venus for january 2018 that you want them to know they need to know or they get to know spirit is saying also to make sure you are communicating with your divine counterpart um seven of swords and this goes back to you this one wanted to fly out to you okay there we go i knew them two went together the seven of swords and the moon you have to be honest you have to open up communication um whichever one of you this is divine masculine or feminine whoever it was the one that is uh sneaking around um had the karmic partner and the other one didn't know um it's time to come clean so you both can heal from this because you are at the end of your journey where union is coming soon um, if you have allowed all the past hurts to be healed and to come to the surface. So you're only delaying this um, judgment if you do not come out and come clean and apologize and um, allow your divine counterpart to see your vulnerability, to see how honest you are, to see how to feel the truth in your words is what spirit is saying to honestly Open up and allow your feelings, thoughts, and everything else to be out in the open. And that is when you two will begin to heal. And it'll be so fast after that point. Any other messages that you want them to hear, Spirit? Okay, the fool. And once you allow that um, truth to come out, you will get your new beginning. You will get your fresh start. You will get your clean slate. And, and spirit is saying, and your wish come true. So uh, the truth has to come out this month to whichever one of you that applies or both of you. I do see you're both in uh, relationships right now. Though I feel the Divine Feminine is in separation or already involved in a divorce. Um, where the Divine Masculine is still involved. Um, it's time to tell your karmic partners as well what is going on um, as part of that moon card. Um, it's in the Seven of Swords. That is also opening up and telling the truth to your karmic partners. <clears throat> so it's time for this third party situations to end that uh, comes out with the truth of the moon and oh my goodness how beautiful is this and this is what will be your guys's reward you have the temperance coming into balance healing um being whole again um allowing your guys's energies to flow within each other back and forth and just allowing two souls to become one and when you do that and that healing begins, then you come into the four of wands, a commitment, um, a life of no longer fearing um, the runner chaser phase, no longer fearing the cheating, no longer fearing anything because you guys will be in a loving, committed, fulfilling relationship. Um, because this is from the universe, you will be spiritually, emotionally, physically, um, mentally, connected unlike any other person you've ever been with so spirit is saying what are you waiting for the universe is waiting on you the universe is waiting on you to let this go to end this third party to admit to your wrongs to allow the truth to come out and to end those karmic relationships because um, I, I have been saying this for months and I truly believe it still. I still stand by it. 
January, February, and March is going to be the most Twin Flame unions um, that has ever come to this uh, planet at one time. It is This is the time. The universe is calling those 144,000 to come into union. It's time to start your um, soul purposes. It's time to start your journey with your twin flame because um, there's a lot of work here to do. So now is the time. I am going to read out of the book for these two cards because spirit is spirit's telling me to. <laughs> so for the um, divine feminine, you had the resting tree and that is um, the resting tree is a sign for you to stop focusing and planning and be at peace in the moment. This is a representative of non-action and relaxation. Patience is the key to being with this ally. The resting tree asks you to slow down, sit back, and watch the roses bloom and the birds feed in the meadow. This isn't a time to forge ahead in any way. You may be taking enough breaks, so you're invited to be still and contemplate your good fortune, even if it means blessing the chaos in your life. This is a sign to allow everything to fall away except the stillness of the moment. It's like living within the space between your breath. How beautiful is that? When the resting tree appears, it signals that you have done all you can for now, and it's time to unwind and allow your story to be unfold on its own accord. You have earned the right to rest and relax. Amazing ideas will come to you if you do. Remember the ancient saying, we do without doing and everything gets done. It's now time to take a, take a seat. You have worked so hard. You have been working on yourself. You've been healing yourself and your divine masculine. So now it's time to sit back and relax. And it's time for your divine masculine to pick up where you left off. The divine masculine has the um, word lord. And... The word Lord rules communication of all kinds and lets you know that positive interactions can be expected when he arrives. He only speaks with positive words and praises all he sees. He reminds you of the laws of abundance and praise. When you bless the world, the, the blessings come back to you. When you say affirming supportive words and carry the energy, it returns to you in a physical form. Remember that each one of you has the power and will resonate with the universe, seeking its reflection in manifest form. Your body responds to praise, as does everything in the world around you. Praise it for your health and beauty. Applaud yourself for everything you do, as even the tiniest accomplishments are important. Praise your bills. Give thanks for the services you enjoy and watch the ability to pay them increase. This is also a time to remember the powerful practice of affirmations. Write them down and speak them as loud as, as a spiritual exercise. Say it is so and it will be. It is a very auspicious sign that when the world word Lord chooses to be your ally. So it's also warning you to be careful of people speaking untruths, denial and unsupportive thoughts is what I just got from spirit. So um, open up communication. This is the word uh, or this is the card of communication. Um, it also says dishonesty. So make sure you are opening up with honest communication with your karmic partner and your divine feminine. Um, now is the time. And make sure that you also are doing your daily positive affirmations. And um, Spirit is wanting me to pull a um, chakra card here. So I will go ahead and do that. Spirit and angels, what do the Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus need to work on for January 2018 in their twin flame journey? What do they need to know? What do they get to know? What do you want them to know? Gratitude. Anything else? Okay, just those. Okay. So you have rejection, completion, and gratitude. So um, 
with gratitude, spirit is wanting you in the month of January to um, be making a gratitude list. Um, add to your list daily and at the end of the month, see all the things that you are grateful for and um, make sure you're praising the universe and giving thanks for these. Um, rejection. I'm going to look that one up in the book because there's a meditation in there for it. Okay. Rejection. So, um, what this card is representing is you don't have to be on the inside track, um, to be your perfect self. Like you don't have to just be true to yourself and you will never be unhappy because rejection is spirit's protection. So anything that you are rejected from in life is not meant for you. That is spirit's way of guarding you, of protecting you. So um, what spirit is wanting you to ask yourself is if you are working with or against your environment and what is the purpose of your current solitude? Um, your meditation he wants to, you to work on for the month of January is um, he wants you to imagine the divine ivory white light filtering down and encircling you. In the distance is the ivory tower. You reach the castle and the drawbridge slowly lowers. When you enter the castle grounds, you come to the tower. At the top of the stairs is a door. Inside is the place of no judgment. You have finally found your way home. So when you get to that tower and you enter that room, make sure you tell yourself or you say it aloud or within your meditation, this is my safe place. This is the place of no judgment. I am home now. That is what spirit is wanting you to say and to work on. Um, and as far as completion, in the month of January, Spirit is wanting you to, let me look it up here. Okay, so with this card, it is a reminder to cherish all that is beautiful in your life, including endings. Reflect upon your part in history and discover what you value most. Do not fear completion. Embrace it. For all endings is just the start to a beautiful new beginning. So in your um, meditation, Spirit wants you to allow your feelings about endings to come to you. Um, whatever that may be. Um, so he wants you to ask, do you, you know, what is it about completion that you fear? Um, do you celebrate them? Do, do you rejoice? Do you fear them? Um, so he wants you in your meditation to just open up your mind and allow all your feelings about everything that has ended in your life, allow it to come to you, whatever they may be. Um, and when you are done meditating about these endings, journal, journal about how you feel, what what they made you feel, how you dealt with those feelings, because you are going to find the clarity that you have been searching for, but have not been able to find the answer to. You're going to find that in your journaling. And it may not come to you the day you journal, but it will come to you by the end of the month. And it's going to allow you to end these karmic relationships a lot easier. Um, and that's for divine feminine and masculine. So, um, that is all the messages that I have for you guys for um, the month of January. You guys are so close to union. Um, and Spirit's message to you is just to keep the faith. Um, Divine Masculine, it's time to step up and um, take the steps necessary to, um, to get this journey, to keep it moving. Um, Divine Feminine, you have been working hard and doing what you needed to do. And um, it's time for you just to kind of take a step back. But um, do not become stagnant because when that happens, 
your union or reunion is going to be delayed. So um, keep working on yourself. Um, keep meditating. Stay grounded. Stay connected to Mother Earth. Um, just keep healing. Keep working on yourself. And you won't go wrong. Um, like I said a little bit ago, I do believe you guys will be in union by the end of March at the very latest. Um, I see the beginning of February um, at the earliest. So this is your last month to really take those steps necessary to really get this relationship underway. Um, and that is that message is for those who I uh, brought the message for today. Um, not all of you are in the same spot in your journey, but that's what makes it so beautiful. We're all walking, um, taking our own steps to the same path. So, and we all will end up in the same place. But, um, for those of you who I channeled messages for and, and the reading was for today, you will be coming into union very soon. Um, very, very soon. You just have to do what what is left to be done and and then you will be able to enjoy enjoy the um the journey together after this point so um like i said keep meditating keep healing stay grounded and um enjoy where you're at right now so many people hurry up and want to race through the path to get to union that we forget to enjoy everything around us in the meantime so don't forget to give gratitude to the universe and to thank him for our many blessings. And as always, I'm sending you love and light and God bless you. And I will see you next time.